Wherever there are castles that held dungeons, that held our people, dungeons should be affixed to the name. Name, 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 name. We're talking about them being taken from the Americas. And taken from the And taken from the Americas. And taken from the Americas. And taken from the Americas. This is our reality. This is not a castle. This is the dungeon. This is where our ancestors spent months at a time. Brother, turn that light off, please. This was our reality. There was no electricity and hundreds, hundreds more than 200, 300 women were in this dungeon at a time. So how can we say that this is a castle? This is your reality. This is my reality. This is the reality of our ancestors. We're going to get the job done. We're going to get it changed. This was my first experience in being in Ghana in 1987. And from that visit to these dungeons truly changed my life. I knew when I came out of this dungeon that I would never be the same person again. We are currently inside the Cape Coast Castle. I have been to Elmina Castle. I've been to so many slave castles that were built in Africa and sometimes I can't even control myself after hearing what really happened in there. I actually put on social media that I'm not going to do these videos anymore because I get so emotional that when I get back home this really affects my daily movement because of what I had that day. And um, I think my last video when I did the last bath and then I came to Elmina Castle to do another video about what really happened at Elmina. Castle. And I saw a lot of comment people telling me that what am I? It's time to bring a petition for Ghana government to change the name mm -hmm. to Cape Coast Dungeons or maybe this this dungeon because we don't have to call them castles. And I was like, wow, that is deep. And I know you've been living in Ghana for 30, over 30 years now, yes. and you've been here. I mean, several times. Um, I want to know, do you think that this place should be called a castle? No, I don't. Not standing alone, it should be called a castle. Because calling it a castle glamorizes what went on here. You know, you say a castle, the average person that comes, you, you know, you're looking at a, a, a glorious place, something, you know, glamorous with kings and queens and all the rest of that. Well, kings and queens of Africa were not in the castle. We were in the dungeons. So if we're going to talk about the history, if we're going to correct the history, then let us do it properly. Let us call it what it was. I heard your statement about uh, we shouldn't change it, blah, 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 because we'd be altering history. Yes, it's not altering the history necessarily. We're talking about amending it so that the entire truth can be known. So my petition is to the Ghana government and to the Museums and Monuments Board that says amend the name Cape Coast Castle so that it says Cape Coast Castle Dungeons or Elmina Castle Dungeons. And wherever, as far as I'm concerned, wherever there are castles that held dungeons, that held our people, Dungeon should be affixed to the name. That 
as far as I'm concerned, is taking the truth to its 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 finest well, finest point. Now, it's not just me. I have a petition here that talks about, and I call it the transatlantic enslavement perpetuated by Europeans. Okay, just let me share with you what the petition says. It says the transatlantic enslavement perpetuated by Europeans in which Africans were forcibly taken from their homes in the 16th century and thereafter and sent to the Americas and the Caribbean to work as enslaved Africans stands condemned for all times. Today, those of us at home in Ghana remember our ancestors' common, terrible, and terrifying history. It is a history of cruelty, greed, and lament. The place we call Ghana today formed a major pool for the abduction and kidnapping of individuals, families, and groups for shipment across the Atlantic to be enslaved. But as we enter those major edifices that held our ancestors, the signs that greet us say Cape Coast Castle or Elmina Castle. But castles were not our reality. Castles was not their realities. Dungeons were. So we, the undersigned, are therefore petitioning the Museums and Monuments Board and the government of Ghana to amend the name of these edifices to read Cape Coast Castle Dungeons and Elmina Castle Dungeons, which reflects the whole truth of our collective experience. So we're asking everyone to support this, sign the petition, and let us make our ancestors proud. When they brought us in here, they put our ancestors in the dungeon. And the only time that we were taken out of the dungeon was when we were taken up to the governor's mansion or whoever wanted to use us at the time. And when they got finished with us, they threw us back in the dungeons. So I say, let's make it right. I have over 1,500 signatures so far of people who agree with that. So I'm saying to the government and to the Museums and Monuments Board, representing these 1,500 people and our ancestors, that we should amend so the amendment name that you want is Cape Coast Castle Dungeons. Dungeons. Exactly. Exactly. Because then when people come, because I bring people all the time being in the tourism industry. I conduct ceremonies in the Castle Dungeons. I feed ancestors. And the ancestors cry out. It's not right. We, we were not in castles. I hear them. We were in dungeons, and that's where we died. That's where we gave birth to babies. That's where we did everything until they took us out. So calling it the Cape Coast Castle Dungeons or the Elmina Castle Dungeons is the appropriate name for these edifices. And if you want to say was known, I'm, and see when people say, well, you know, you're changing, I'm not changing the name. I'm not taking away from the fact that it was castles. It was a castle, and Europeans lived in it. So which means it was a castle for the white people, the Europeans, and it was a dungeon for, us. for Africans. Thank you very much, it was. So if we're telling the truth, then let's, let us tell the whole truth. So that when people come, people come in and they say, Oh, Mama Amicus, this is this is not a castle. This is a dungeon. Why are they calling it a castle? They make it sound as though, you know, this was some glamorous place that they brought us. Uh, to. Let me let me uh, before uh, let me um, clarify this. Do you think it's also good to make this place a tourist site? Historically, yes. Okay. Um, what else would you call it? Anytime you have visitors coming from outside going on tours, they're coming here. So it's part of tourism. It's also part of the history of our people, which had not been told in the past. It's like kind of glossed over. 
Yes, as many people as possible, I don't care where they came from in the world, need to go down into those holes so they can see what was done to African people. Um, you know what we're gonna do right now? All you need to do is to share this video on any social media you have. I'm gonna put the link to the uh, for the petition in the description box. Go sign anyone can sign. Anyone from anywhere in the world, we want them to sign. So it's not about uh, if I'm a cuss. It's about all of us who are thinking the same way. I'm just a representative. I am a servant. That's my job. So if you believe that, or if you think that the name should be changed to Cape Coast Castle Dungeon or mm -hmm. Elmina Castle Dungeon, just go, go to the description box, go find the link there, click on it, and make sure you sign in and let's hope that the name will change as soon as possible yes i think like you've been with me the whole of today and i want to say thank you so much oh, for it's been my everything pleasure. but you see how the ancestors work Back. i saw your video talking about the castle yeah and not changing i was like what, what? <laughs> i gotta find that guy i gotta talk to him what is he talking <laughs> about so i was looking for you and what? so and i had just seen your video the day before so I was determined. I said, now I'm going to find out where this guy is. Okay. While I'm looking for you, the phone rings. And who is it on the phone but That's you me. looking for <laughs> me? <laughs> so you see, the ancestors are working. Exactly. It's like, let me put these people together. Exactly. So exactly. the power of the ancestors. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank darling. You. I love you so much. God. Uh, yes. Uh, you know.